What's up guys, today we will be learning how to animate in Dreams PS4. You will mainly be using the keyframe gadget to animate together with a timeline gadget. So we're gonna just jump right into this. Don't forget to subscribe, check out my channel playlist for individual tutorials on logic sculpting animation, even more advanced animation tutorials by clicking on my channel name, then clicking on playlist at the top, then looking for the animation tutorial playlist. So this right here is to get you guys going. You guys will learn how to animate with keyframes. So this right here is the kind of stuff you will learn. You won't learn how to do the flips. That's one of my more advanced tutorials, but you will learn how to do the skidding. You'll learn how to do the effects with the skidding and stuff like that also. So here we are, let's jump right into it. First, let's go ahead and talk about how you would actually get a fluent animation down. So in the beginning of your keyframe, what you want to do is actually lay down. And I didn't do this with mine. You want to lay down a keyframe with no data at all, no recording at all. Then you want to set it to linear. What this does is actually make a transition effect to your real recording start position. So, but how I had it before, It would have just started out with the arm like that. So then what you would want to do to actually animate in Dreams PS4. So what you want to do, you want to actually make your recording, right? And then you want to copy it. So like this. What this does is makes it to where it keeps the data from your last recording to where you can record off of that. So, you can do that, you can do that, you can do that. And effectively what you would wanna do is have that transition in the beginning and at the end. So nothing at all keyframe right here, nothing at all keyframe right here. Then our first recording, our second recording, copied off of that. Our third recording, copied off of that one. Our fourth recording, copied off of that one. Our fifth recording, copied off of that keyframe. And then set them to linear by pressing L1 and square so that way they all fade in or you can hold X and then press L1 and square then set it to linear make sure it's not on key changes make sure it's smooth you can choose any of these you want or you can press L1 and X in between a keyframe to instantly do it and then you, you gotta look up the types the types are right here So let's play it. A smooth walk animation. A smooth walk animation. Well, Young Tux, how do you get them so smooth? Well, when you clone off of a previous keyframe, it has these lines. It has these lines. This represents the strokes that you make with your animation. So you grab it by pressing R2. Or you can hold L2 and use the analog stick, the right analog stick to move it. And these are the strokes that we make. You want these strokes to be smooth, very, very smooth. The smoother they are, the better your animation is gonna be. This means you don't wanna do this kind of thing to make your animations, cause it can actually remember all of that. And it can actually make your animations more wobbly and jigged. That's not even a word. But, um, yeah, you want that to be smooth animations only. So 
So how did I get that effect underneath my skateboarder? Well, we're gonna actually make this effect longer now that our keyframe thing is better. I'm actually gonna keep this walk animation. Just copy my settings here. You wanna make sure this is zero. You wanna make sure that this is on. You wanna make sure this is on continuous. You wanna make sure this is on 0 0.1. You wanna make sure this is on zero. Infinity, infinity, and on recycle. Then you might wanna turn this on for whatever emitted object you're using. Then you want to search for an effect in the Dreamverse. Then you want to grab that effect with this right here. You just want to um, click this and then click on that searched up object. Now the emitter will emit that object continuously as long as this timeline is playing or whatever you're going to do with it. Place it wherever you want to place it. It is this dot. That's the position. And there it is right there. And that can actually help out your animations. That can really help out your animations to where you can do cool stuff like this. Not the flip. <laughs> you gotta look up the flip tutorial, guys. You gotta look up the, um, I think it's Skate Park tutorial, my Dreams PS4 Skate Park tutorial, or my Dreams PS4 um, Robot Chicken animation tutorial. So it's one of those two, guys. Just check that out and you'll learn how to do more tricks with keyframes this is not everything you can do with a keyframe i also have a parkour tutorial so check that out guys that's the more advanced stuff that you can do with keyframes with keyframes so there's other options you can choose to hide everything with this while you're recording or you can also choose to go into mirror mode that means if i was to grab this it'd also be grabbing it'd be like grabbing both of these at the same time if we were in mirror mode Now, procedural walk. Why did I make my own walk animation whenever Dreams comes with an animation? Well, that's because Dreams doesn't come with animations for a skateboarder. You might find yourself in a predicament like this. What you want to do is go into your puppet, press L1 and square like I did to get this thing up, this blank puppet canvas thing up. And what this keyframe right here is doing is actually turning off this button press for uh, the procedural walk. It's turning off the procedural walk. Keyframes can also record variable changes. So I could actually change the variable while this is a recording of this right here. I can slide it. So I, that's something keyframes can do that I think people really overlook. It makes making games like 50, 100 times easier, in my opinion. Then that on switch is connected to the power of that keyframe making sure that the procedural walk is always off. That on switch is also connected to the A of an AND gate. The, a, the B of the AND gate is now connected to the left stick. The result is in the power which was the walk timeline that we were just learning from. The left stick is also inside of the walk of the puppet interface. And that's how you make your own walk animations in Dreams PS4, in Dreams PS4. So there's a few more things that we got to learn about in order for this tutorial to be done. And that's pretty much action recorder and puppet possession. So you can learn, you can use this with the keyframe also, but we're just going to use an action recorder. If we were scoped in L1 and X and we moved our puppet, notice how it's not really moving the puppet position, which is the purple marquee at the bottom. It's just moving the puppet. If we were to be scoped out and do that though, and move the puppet position and everything with it. You can do this all with the same keyframe or you can do separate keyframes. It's good to remember this for parkour. Next, record possession. 
So if you wanted to record your possession, make sure that you rewind it first. You also want to make sure that the control sensor that is used for your puppet is set to none. Or you might want to mess around with these options up here. Otherwise, your record possession won't work. What this does is it'll actually record what you do while you're possessed. This doesn't record button presses. So if there's something that the object or player has to interact with, then um, most likely your trailer will fail. Yes, you can make game trailers using this record possession option. You make trailers for the Dreamverse. You can also make it for your YouTube channel. But you could also just play it yourself for your YouTube channel. But for the Dreamverse, you know, it's actually really nifty. The puppet possession doesn't seem to work inside of timelines, but I'm pretty sure there might be a way to do it. I just don't know how at the moment. Like, I've tried everything. <laughs> I'm just letting you guys know it probably doesn't work in the timeline, but, you know, somebody might be able to figure it out. You never know. And that should pretty much be it. You can follow me at Dreams, subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitch. I'm Young Text on Twitch, Young Text YouTube, and uh, in Dreams PS4, and Young Text on YouTube. Check out my channel playlist for more advanced Dreams PS4 animation tutorials.